Hi beautiful people, in today's video I wanted to share with you that we have been mislabeling ourselves for the longest time about how we feel like we're lost and what we should say instead. I know when I first changed my content to solely talking about navigating through my 30s and still living at home, I was saying that I'm a lost individual trying to find her way. The fact is, I'm not lost. I know what I want, I know what I want to do, and I know where I want to be. Mislabeling myself as lost actually made it easier for me to cope with the fact that I am 30, still living at home, and not financially independent yet. But not only did I realize that I'm not lost because I know what I want, but it's also because none of us are actually lost. I think a lot of us would rather tell other people and ourselves that we are because we don't want to admit what we really want. We feel ashamed or embarrassed by our desires. So instead of mislabeling myself, and I encourage you to think this way too, the actual matter is and what we should say is, I'm not interested in this anymore, or this chapter is over, let's see what else I can try. Life is how you make it. Would you rather spend it waiting for answers or going with the flow, or would you rather go out there live it, learn, and have fun the entire time. Life is about experiences, it's about exploration. See, I thought that if I became or become a travel vlogger, I'm still thinking about it, I'd somehow find myself. I mean, yeah, I am on a self-discovery journey because there are so many things out there to experience. You never know what you'll find yourself doing or becoming or even thinking until you actually go out there and experience the things. Like, I never thought that I would visit Germany because it was never a bucket list country for me. But I went out there and I love it. You never know what you're capable of unless you actually try it. So think about it. Are you actually lost? Or do you not want to admit that you know what you want because you're ashamed or embarrassed by it? If it's the former, then you need to have an open mind and try things. And I mean anything. Take it from somebody who wasn't supposed to go into teaching. Okay, I don't want to say not supposed to, but I was never meant for it. When I was transitioning in my undergraduate studies from speech pathology, which I didn't even declare as my major, but I was taking courses for it. And before I went into teaching, I signed up for a couple introductory courses. And one of them, unfortunately, was psychology. And I say unfortunately because that was literally the most boring course I have ever sat through. And I have sat through like chemistry. But that's what I mean. You just have to try it. Try something, try anything. Now, if it's the latter and you're ashamed or embarrassed by what you actually want, then listen, you won't be able to achieve what you want if you don't own up to it. Do you really want it? That's the question. Because if you keep trying to hide it, you're hiding it from yourself, you're holding yourself back from your true potential, and quite frankly, it signals to the world and your brain that you don't really want it and you'll never be ready for it. And I just thought of it, you're actually tricking yourself or convincing yourself that you don't actually deserve it for some reason. So do yourself a favor and get over yourself. Want better things and be willing to work hard for it. You only have this one life and it should be full of fun experiences. The way the world shifted because of the pandemic, it should have already taught you that we're more than willing to live a life of abundance on our own terms. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, then you might like one of my favorite videos that I filmed so far on my channel titled, Bad News, You'll Never Be Ready for Anything. So hopefully I'll see you in that video or any of these next.